most people in life are looking at how to make a life worth living and retirement having. The challenge of unique topics and controversial subjects in a community is allowing people to decide what they're going to do for their own lives. You see, if the topic impacts their life, they have to really decide whether or not it really truly impacts their true life. So if we look at the concepts of shelter, sustenance, and service, I'm going to ask you, does that controversial topic impact your personal home in terms of where you live or who lives with you? Does that controversial topic impact your ability to feed yourself or feed other people? Does that controversial topic impact your service in a community? In other words, if your opinion is affected by the law, could you get in trouble for discrimination or reverse discrimination? So the controversial topic is therefore enforced and protected by the law. Your opinion on it and how you handle it in your own private life is up to you. But your opinion and how you handle it in a public sector where you're employed is not totally up to you. In life we have moments of time to speak the truth to our children about what is and isn't their business. Where a mom stays, who she lays, and who she plays with is not any child's business. When she partners or repartners, the only information children need is that that mother figure, whatever she is to them biologically or not, has decided to love someone and shack up with them, therefore completing the concept of shelter. When we do that, we tend to have meals with our partner and with our families, and therefore eating together is simply impacted by the fact that you might have to change the volume of food that you're making or creating or the type of food that you're choosing or simply add some things to the grocery list. When it comes to service, the only time that that is impacted is when you have those marvelous couples events or those uh, go off and uh, do things events that are for your families to be included in your business, like a family picnic where we employers want to get to know your family, or a softball game or something like that, or when people you know that you're friends with uh, invite you to go out to see a show or just to be more social because, let's face it, 40 hours of our week are invested in our corporation or our companies or our business. And when I talk about these things, I'm not talking about anything specifically, I'm just saying hey, does it really impact you? Now, if it's a part of your original family, your family of origin, you have to decide, how often do I see these people? Probably not a lot, because you're busy with your life doing the other three S's, and that's okay. But when it comes to your personhood, your paperwork, and your property, and your parentage, there's not much that you can have to say, because all the stuff right there belongs solely to you, not even to your partnership in life. Anything else outside of that, any person else outside of that, it's not your business, and that is true.